let me tell you about the box cover because I think I understand why fans are upset about it. Like, you know, that does that looks like every other game, right? You know, and I get that, I totally get that. Um, and that's frankly, to some degree, intentional. Let me tell you why. Let's start by stipulating that this is an expensive game to make, okay? And therefore, it has to to continue to make these kind of games. It has to make back that money, you know, that's important to the shareholders of any company or any person who's going to invest the kind of money in this pretty crazy experiment. Like, this is not like, you don't pitch this thing to somebody, oh, yeah, it's a game about, you know, turn of the century, 1912, and deal with religion and racism, like, you know, there's not a lot of people saying, where do I sign the check? You know, who, who do I make the check out to? We went to a bunch of frats after Bioshock 1 came out, frat houses and places like that. Oh, yeah! So, have you heard of this game, Bioshock? And we'd be in rooms and not a, out of like people who play games, your people play games, about like two or three games a year. We generally find not a single one of them had even heard of it. We show them video of the game afterwards and they're like, that looks awesome. You know, you're, you're fighting big daddies and you shoot lightning out of your hand and you got guns and cool looking environments and these cool splicers, but they hadn't heard of it. And part of the reason is they don't sort of follow the same channels that, you know, that we do of information. I stepped back and I looked at the box for Bioshock 1. And I love that box. I was very involved in the design of it. It's, but then I tried to look at it as somebody who never heard of Bioshock. And I said, this is a game about a robot and a little girl. And this wasn't that these people never heard of Bioshock, because they, I'm sure they saw it on the shelf and they said, game about a robot and a little girl. Next, people who are drawn initially to the familiar. Like, the Google to the Matrix poster, for instance, it's not, like, about cyberspace. It's about cool-looking dudes with guns, you know? But then when you watch the movie, you know, it takes you to a whole nother place, and it's incredibly bold and ambitious. So the price to that people that I think I'm asking people to pay is the, get the, the cover you pick up off the shelf may not be your favorite cover in the universe. Hopefully that will mean that this game has helped make this game successful, and we can keep making more of them and keep and not compromising, you know, in any way. Because right now, nobody asks us to compromise. They're like, yep, big, long, complicated introduction sequence with not, nobody, no, like, Taliban shooting you in the head, you know, okay, go make that, Ken, that's fine. So I, I, I believe we have an obligation, you know, and, and to both to the, you know, the company and to gamers, if these kind of games have to con want to continue to be made, they have to be successful. He's right. You're right. We gotta do something. Absolutely. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah!